In this video, I'm going to be reviewing Mailer Cloud. I'm going to be going through the entire platform, everything that you need to know, cover any questions that you may have, and then give my thoughts. Mailer Cloud is a powerful email marketing platform that lets you create professionally designed email campaigns that grow your subscriber list. Before we get into the nitty gritty of Mailer Cloud, if you have any questions, go ahead and drop them below. I tend to reply within a few minutes to a couple of hours, and I'll also leave a special discounted link that I'll keep updated for you so you always get the best deal on Mailer Cloud. We are now in the dashboard of Mailer Cloud and if there's one thing I love it when tools guide you the process. So it actually tells you the four steps that you should do before you get started. Now before we jump into these four steps let's explore the dashboard. On the left you have your main navigation which covers campaigns and then all the different camp type. Then you have your audience and all the different audience type and then reporting with all the report assistant. Finally you have the template gallery which we'll explore shortly. You do have the option to skip this setup if you want to but I thought it would be fun just to go through the process with you. Starting off with add your audience this is where we create a new list or a segment and they even have a list by default which shows you all the analytics of what's going on with that particular group. This will break down domains and devices and also by contact. You can also view the contacts more which will tell you more information like how many times they've opened, how many times they've your link and how many versions. You can add further in detail information about this particular contact as well. Just click the edit and then update it here. The system will automatically rank it with the star system. So anywhere from one is a cold lead and all the way to five is a base customer. You can also filter everything here. To create a list, click create new list, enter the list name. And if you get stuck, they've got a step-by-step -step guide and a tutorial, right? Decide what sort of list this is going to be and then do continue. You have a choice between uploading a CSV file, copy and pasting, or adding an individual contact at a time. For the sake of this video, we're going to go ahead and do add individual contact and do add now. Go ahead and fill out the contacts information and at the bottom if you want to add custom fields you can do by clicking add field like where they came from example so social media, Facebook etc and then click create. When you're done click continue and now that person's been added. What we see here is the newsletter contact list we've just created with the contact that was added to them. When we go back to the dashboard you can see it's got a little tick there now and that indicates that we've completed these steps successfully. Let's move on to authenticate your domain. MailerLite offers a five minute tutorial video which get, takes you through all the steps of adding and verifying domain. So start off by clicking add your domain, adding your domain in and click proceed. You'll then have to add all of this information into the DNS settings of your domain and then click verify. I'm actually going to leave the verification process out of here because I don't have a domain name spare. If you ever need to get that information again, click on details and it'll show there. Other things you can do in this area area is handle the sender management area, the reply IDs, all the integration which accepts API keys. So if you have a Zapier account this will be no problem at all. Then you've got all the manual plugins and there's about four pages worth. In the settings area you have conversion pixels, users, campaign tags and contact properties. So you'll just add your pixels in and all your tracking information in these areas. Inside the campaigns area you have three further options. You have regular campaigns which is a one-off sending. You have automation which is for schedule sendings and then you have autoresponders which is whenever someone joins a list it will automatically trigger a series of emails. We're going to go ahead and do the autoresponder because I think that covers the bulk sum of everything else to campaigns. So we're going to start off with create autoresponder. We're going to say they've joined the video SEO tip. The subject line we're going to fill out and the sender name is going to be here. Then you fill out the rest field and decide if you want an email preheader, which is the thing that we see just before they even open the email a permission reminder just to remind why these emails and then of course your conversion tracking IDs. Then when you've chosen a template to go with this you'll simply do test mail or continue. Inside the template gallery area this is where all of the templates available to you are. So let's say we want this one. It'll even show you the responsiveness of the template. You can create your own templates by clicking template, label the template and do create. Decide what sort of layout you want. Let's go ahead and do one to two and press. With a really smooth interface you just drag and drop the elements in like so and then use the navigation on the right to customize specific and adding things and customizing it is this or that. Then when you're ready you can either download that which shows in an HTML format. This is the HTML code if you're curious or you can save and close and then it's saved in your save templates area which is where you can rename, duplicate, create a campaign with that specific template and edit it. Mailer Cloud templates is all of the done for you templates that they have in the system. Inside the audience tab we've already had a look at lists so let's have a look at segments. Segments is basically segments 
segmenting your list into criteria. So you'll start off with choosing a list, let's say the newsletter list, and then do continue. And then under the conditions, you would say something the lines of if all of this list is, let's say, from is, let's say, the country equals England, then that will segment the list in creating a new list just from those emails which are from England. The web form area is where you can directly embed forms from Mailer Cloud into your website, whether that being an embed form, standalone page, pop up bar, etc. Let's go ahead and do a standalone page, name it, and then do next. You have different options. There's different done few templates here. So whether you want a blank template, registration, contact us, newsletter sign up, port, ebook download, or event registration. Go ahead and press continue. And then here is where you'll customize fields or create new fields. It's complete to you. Under style is where you can change style of everything. And then options will display if it's a thank you message after they've completed the form or if it's a redirect to another page. You'll just add the URL there. You can also do follow up options. So send submission email notifications and then it will do to the email the notification to go to. You can check what it looks like by the responsive navigation at the top. So you see what it looks like on all devices. And if you want to preview, click preview and then publish and preview. And now that's what the form will look like. When you're done, click update. And now you've got that unique URL or the embed code. So if, click it, if we click the URL and then paste it in, now we have that URL that we can share wherever we want. Now under web forms, you will see every web form you have, status of it, how many views and how many submissions. Under the summary tab of the audience list tells you a breakdown of everything that's gone on with those subscribers and those lists, how many people have clicked on something, have reported you, have done playing, etc. It gives you some really information. Under reports is just all the analytics, what's going on with your autoresponders and web form. So what do I think of Mailer Cloud? Is it worth the money? Well, I always like to start off with the interface because I think the interface is a really important aspect to any software. If the interface is hard to use, then the rest of the software is an absolute pain. So Mailer Cloud has done a really good job of simplifying the whole campaign creation and get running process. They have a really they have a really similar feel to MailChimp back in the day. And I think it's definitely got the bulk some of the tools that a email marketer would want. I think it's a big win that they include conversion stat to tell you which subscribers have purchased something. And the star rating system just simplifies and tells you how quickly and how hot these actually are down the line. As someone who struggled with email marketing back in the day and created my own email marketing platform, I can safely say that Mailer Cloud have done a really good job of streamlining everything and I don't think the pricing is too bad either. Would I recommend Mailer Cloud to people? Yes, I think I would.